Hi guys, I'm Ed. And I'm Harry. We are about to test out how far the Oculus Sensor can go with Harry. Let's do it. Off you go, Harry. Right, let's move Harry at the Sensor nice and close. And here we go, going backwards. Working, working, it's working, 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 and it's supposed to be there. Ready? How far is that? Okay, okay let's yeah. see. Hang on, I've got a tape measure. Hold this, Harry. Okay, we can tell you that this is almost exactly 13 feet. That's it's not eight. too bad. Crack it. Let's do whip. One, two, three. That's the edge there. That's, That's the edge there. Okay, how far is that then? Okay. That is. Four feet, so that's Why not too bad. That's going the other way, coming back. Okay. I'm guessing I'm out in the middle now. Nope. There you go. And, oh, there's the table. Oh, there's the edge there. Okay, and that is probably going to be exactly the same. Is it? Yeah, just slightly more, actually. Rock and roll. Yeah, not too bad. So we've got about, you know, four and a half feet on four feet. So, according to our incredibly dodgy maths, this is what we estimate the area to look like. Okay guys, there you go, so as you can see there are some limitations to the room scale VR with the Oculus, but it can be done. It can. We've used some USB 3 and HDMI extender cords, which we have had some trouble with cutting in and out with the Oculus display, so yep. keep an eye out for those issues. But bottom line is, it can be done, and there's your proof. Excellent guys, we'll see you in the next video. See you then. Bye Bye Zs. It's literally a cart game, whereas wherever you look is base. Well, you don't fly, but you need some drift. And 